So today, I wanted to talk to you about Design Center 3.0 and the software support available for the new Vantage 850D multi-room amplifier. So one of the great things about Design Center 3.0 and the 850 as you can see in this screenshot here, uh, I am looking at a sample project here in the office and I am connected live to an 850. You can see uh, up in the top center section here uh, on the Vantage 850 uh, object, we've got uh, some additional drivers such as the Vantage DMM, the music server, a Nouveau tuner, it's a dual tuner, and an iPort dock, the FS23. Could have been an FS22, could have been an IW. Uh, but what I wanted to show here was the combination of the 850 in the live zone management and live source management available to you inside of DC. So how I get to this point was I built a DC file and then I uh, created a an AV closet room and I went over into the Vantage Objects into the audio video section and I dragged in a new Vantage 850D audio stack object. So that's how that got populated. I also added a Vantage DMM brought that into the project, then I went into my driver's pane and I brought in the Nouveau NVT2 driver and the iPort FS23 driver. All of those are sitting in a rack here that I can test with, or at least the DMM and the 850D are. Uh, so, once you add the 850D, uh, you have the ability to go through and start to configure its zone and source information. So as an example, um, zone 1 here uh, I'm going to say is available in a specific area. So notice in this center section here I'm going to be clicking uh, on zone 1, the 850D object zone 1. I want to assign it an area. So for example let's go to the drop down list and I'm going to put it in the kitchen. So what, what that just did for you is it now gave you a graphical representation of a speaker or a, an object in the kitchen. Um, for example, right here you can see we now added a speaker object. This is brand new in 3.0 where we add audio zones to specific objects so that you know there's something there. Just like a load or a new sensor or a keypad uh, or the like. So that's brand new in 3.0. Uh, I'm going to now rename this to the Kitchen Audio Zone 1 and uh, call that good. And I've assigned him to the kitchen area. I'm going to go to Zone 2 as an example now. and Maybe he's in the office. And I'm going to rename him to be Office Audio Zone 2. And you go ahead and repeat this for all of the zones as you need. Um, and as you run out of the eight zones, uh, you can add a stacked object. So if you needed to, you can click on the Add Amplifier, and that will now add a stacked object and give you an additional eight zones. You can go all the way up to 72, 72 zones on uh, this particular uh, product, uh, the Vantage 850D. Now, <clears throat> a couple of other things that we're going to do here for you today is we're going to also configure sources. So notice that I'd added a DMM, a tuner, and an iPod dock, and I'm going to go to my sources, and on source number one, I have the ability to go through this drill down tree. Um, so for example, in the downstairs theater, AV closet, Vantage DMM source one. Now I have the ability to either use the device name or not, and notice that you get a dialog box, and what box, and what that does is that will either name that uh, source as uh, whatever you have named that driver source or you can uh, name it yourself uh, in here in this case you could call it DMM source one or you could call it dad's music or some kind of a combination or the like depending on what you wanted to do. Let's go to static source two now as an example so let's expand it out but advantage DMM let's choose source two and if I wanted to, again, I could say use device name, or I could choose not to. And in this case, let's say this is mom's music, Vantage DMM source 2, and so on and so forth. So you would repeat that step for, uh, let's do that for the remaining sources, source 3. And let's go to source 4 and say it's the uh, input, uh, the output of the DMM. Number 4 is coming into in. Number 4 on the 850, let's say number 5 is going to be tuner 1. Let's say number 6 
input 6 is going to be tuner number 2. And uh, a couple things we could do, we could say use device name on here to help distinguish between tuner 1 and tuner 2. Or we could have renamed it ourselves. And then here we're going to go to static source 7 is going to be the iPod dock. Um, you could rename it instead of being the driver. You could call it the iPod dock or you could uh, leave it as iPort FS23. Uh, either way, uh, whatever is going to work for you. So that's the source renaming and source assignation. Now these particular sources I added into the, you notice the area here in the AV closet uh, down in the basement, uh, theater AV closet. Um, so those are how you add sources and you add zones and you can assign those to specific areas and you can rename them specifically to what you need and that's also how you add uh, more than one a set of eight zones you add another 850D. Uh, so let's do a couple of other things right now for example I've already done this for you in this project but I wanted to configure this product now this is an Ethernet bus based object meaning it plugs into the local area network just like a computer would or any other device would uh, just like the 1080, just like the IRX2 products, they are a CAT5e or CAT6 network connected devices as part of your local area network. But they don't get an IP address per se, they use the Ethernet bus protocol and a serial number to communicate on the system. So just like keypads, you're going to configure this device, so you're going to be in Design Center, you're going to click on your 850D object in Area View, you'll be down inside of the stack object and you're going to click on configure stations and then what you have is the ability on either one of two ways either from the front screen on the 850 just touch the LCD screen and it will then populate the serial number or you have the ability on the very back next to the LED heartbeat there is a, a push button that will also allow you to press and it will configure that device as well